right, my friends. So now what we're going to do is we're going to subtract using the vertical written method and using place value disks. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my place value over here. Here's my tens, here's my ones, oops. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to write my big numbers here first, okay? So I'm gonna do it in our disks, which are our dots. So if I have six tens, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I have five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Sometimes it's really easy for us to see this before we just start adding and subtracting. That's the reason why we draw out our place value chart. Now, we look at our ones place. This one says I need to take away eight. Well, one, two, three, four, five. I don't have enough. So what I have to do now is I have to go over to the tens place and I have to regroup. So I take, a, take one away from the tens and I move it over. Now remember, when I have a 10 and I unbundle it over in the ones, that means that I add 10 over here because I know that it takes 10 ones to make one 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And if you notice, I try to do these in neat rows of five, so that way I can easily count them. Well, now I have five, 10, 15. I have 15 in my ones. Now I have enough to take away eight. So in, I know I'm on my dry erase board. I don't wanna erase them because I wanna be able to check my work later. So I'm going to just mark through them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see how many I have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven ones left. Now I have to move over to my 10 spot. I need to take away three tens from the tens place value. This one doesn't count towards my, my three because I had, I had to have that for my ones place. So that doesn't count. So we're gonna go one, two, three. Now I have two left over. All right, so I have 27. So I'm thinking 65 minus 38 is 27. Well, let's double check using the vertical method. So I have 65 minus 38, okay? Well, again, I know I can't take eight from five. That's just not enough. So I mark out my one spot and I mark out my 10 spot. I take one from the 10 spot. So that six becomes a five. And the 10 spot became a 15. Huh, that looks just like what I had to do over here. Five, 10, 15, remember? So now I need to go from eight to 15. Well, I know eight plus two will make my 10, so that's two. And then 10 plus five is 15. So five plus two is seven. So eight from 15 is seven. Five minus three. Well, if I have five, I take three away, left with two. <gasps> Look at that. Two different ways and I got the same answer. Now, if I hadn't got the same answer, then something would have been wrong and I needed to go back and check it. 